Well, this is the uh, 2015 Kawasaki Versys that I've had for sale, the LT with the ABS. Um, you asked for some up-close videos, so I hope this helps me just walk around. Again, the bike's very clean. Um, there are some minor scratches, and I think they just come with age uh, and use. Uh, so let me see if I can point them out. Um, the handguards come standard on the LTEs, or the LTs, and I see this one has a bit of a scuff here came into contact with something. The engine and seat are very clean. Again, this is a Terry's custom seat from a gentleman, I think, out of uh, Tennessee. And uh, I, I don't know, we looked online, six month back order, $500, and and it came with the bike. I bought the bike with about 800 miles on it, so I, uh, in hindsight, I'm tickled to see that. Here are the fog lights. Um, these are set so the fog lights can be replaced. Um, the inside the holders. There is a switch here that I added. It's illuminated when the when they're on. Um, since we're up here looking at the dash, you also see there's a um, USB here and below the USB it's plugged into a trickle charger and that's just there for convenience. So I find a lot of good uses for it. Other things I added are the I, on this right hand side we put in I put in a pair of USBs for um, you know, just for your phone and whatnot. This one inch ball, I used to have my TomTom Tom, uh, GPS there. I've since moved it to the side. This uh, is not coming with a bike and it's just uh, bolted on. It will unbolt quickly and easily. Um, coming on around to the side, again, the bike is just, I'm just tickled with how clean it is. I always keep looking. I haven't ridden it in over a week. Um, we have a bed and breakfast here and we've just been busy post or even during this COVID situation. So again, I can take the uh, bags off in a bit. This top case, which was not on the pictures, you can see it'll hold a full size uh, helmet. I disconnected the, the brackets to hold it just so it could lay flat. The um, key in the back has never worked. This is a, a great eBay special. Uh, and so I just put a latch on the side, but as you'll see it easily comes off set that down. Um, The tires are Shinko's I think 009's I'm really really pleased with these tires They have about 4,000 miles on them and they still got a lot of tread left so and uh, They're a dual compound With a little extra silicon you can look it up on uh, Revzilla or whatnot uh, but they're I've really been happy with them. The original Dunlaps just felt greasy. Coming around to this side, one thing I did notice on this side case, there is a crack here. And again, it, I probably, I'm sure I leaned it over or, back, or moved it into something and caught it. It's a cosmetic thing, but I want you to know it's there. Everything on this side of the bike, I'm just looking, just seems as clean as can be. Of course, we're in Colorado. These are stickers I put on just for fun as well as this life is good. Um, of course, those just come straight off. Um, again, the other um, fog lights on this side. Oh, here's something to notice. There's a bump here, it's a scrape. And what happened was, since I have a lowering kit, let me show that to you. On the bottom of the shock, there's a device here, again, it's from T-Rex Racing, which allows you to lower the bike about an inch. Of course, you can take this off and raise it back up again. But to keep the bike level, let me see if I can show this to you. I also brought the uh, top of the forks up into the triple tree about an inch to keep the bike, you know, the same level so it handled the same as before. But doing that brought this fender about one inch closer to the um, engine guard bracket that comes across the front. Well, we were adventure riding one day and went to a mountain town called Platoris, Colorado. You know, one of those things where I began to question if the Versys, uh, I'm not exactly an off-road adventure rider. Um, and evidently uh, compressed suspension enough, this bar did touch. But uh, again, that's, uh, I just want you to be aware it's there. There's, I don't think there's much to do other than just put a touch of uh, the same paint on it. Um, that's about it. There's a, a radiator guard I installed. 
On the uh, engine guard, the T-Rex racing, again, there's what they call sliders on this side here. So if you did drop it, the idea is these are supposed to sacrifice themselves rather than the guard and, of course, the engine. Okay, let's start it up. I told you it would be a cold start. And again, it hasn't started in a while, but I'm sure it'll start up. I just want you to know that you can see the, I mean, it's just stone cold. Um, in a way, it's a piece of integrity. I want you to know that being up front. So let's just turn the key here. I do have both keys with it. as um, And so um, we'll just start it up. And it just runs as clean as the day I got it. Um, I can't think of any other nicks or scratches uh, one thing of the uh, windshield and just cleaning it from taking bugs off of it. It seems to have lost its its sheen. Um, and I just want you to be aware of that. I, you know, you clean it and it is adjustable here and here. But, uh, well, yeah, that's another, I guess, normal wear and tear item. The... Uh, side cases are lockable with the ignition key and you can see on both sides they've got straps because I've got left an extra one in here but when it's here let me see if I can do this in one hand it also allows you just to take them straight off and what's nice about this is then you can just carry it into the hotel or or if you don't need them uh, you just want the top case you take the other one off Again, it's just a matter of turning the key, pulling the lever, and oops, here we go. And they just lift off. And then the bike looks altogether different. Um, usually, I ride with it with a top case on only because uh, usually it's like a run to the grocery store, and uh, it just makes it easier to ride. The other place you can use the key. Oh, left key and top case. Okay, underneath the seat on the left-hand side is the lock you can remove the seat from. And of course, uh, there's not a lot of room in there, but you can see this is where the Terry's custom seat sticker is. Um, and that's it. Well, I'm going to send this off to you. Again, it's pretty raw footage, but uh, I hope you can see the bike is nice and clean um, you know, never ridden hard I always ride with a bunch of older guys and usually we have found ourselves riding out for coffee oh one other thing I wanted to point out I did put a uh, um, alarm system on it and it's just a key fob and when you push the key fob you'll hear the lock set in any movement of the bike we'll, we'll just set it off and if you keep moving it, it'll just keep going. Um, of course, if somebody really wants to steal a bike, I guess they will. But uh, I found it real useful. Okay. So again, hope that helps. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Thanks.